Hey guys, Justin Rivas here. We're talking about some of the basic terminology when it comes to photography. Next up is aperture. Aperture refers to how big or how small the opening in your lens is. Now, this matters for two main reasons. One is it controls how much light goes into your camera. When you have a nice big opening, it's just like your eye, it lets in more light. Or when you step out into a really, really sunny day, your eye closes down really small, restricts the amount of light. Your camera's the same way. A, a wide open aperture lets in a lot of light, a really small aperture lets in a really small amount of light. But the other effect that it has is the bigger that opening is, the more difference there is between things that are in focus, meaning when we have that wide open, you can have somebody's eye be in focus, but the whole background is just blurred out. Uh, blown out, you get what's called bokeh, that nice blurry background. When we shrink that aperture down really small, what's gonna happen is more things are gonna stay in focus. Uh, I'll give you a couple examples of that right here on the computer. So let's start with, uh, this is an old photo of mine, it's maybe not a great example. Uh, these are my parents in Canmore. And you can see here that their faces are in focus, but you also notice that the buildings in the background and the mountains are in focus. And that's because we had a really, really small aperture. Now what's backwards here is that when we're talking about a small aperture, that's actually represented by a really large number. And it's a little bit backwards, but if we go back to my program, You'll see right here that we have this F9.0. That number refers to the aperture. F stands for aperture. I don't know why it's not A, but it's an F. And the higher that number is, the more things that are in focus because the smaller that hole is. On the other side of things, we'll look at a different photo here where that aperture gets nice and small. Uh, let's take a look at this photo right here. You can see that the eyes in this photo are in focus, but the hair and even around the ear, that's starting to get out of focus. If we look up here, we've got a nice small number, F2.2. That means that our opening was really, really big. Again, it's backwards. Something I like to say is, hey, get down with the funk. I don't know why that's stuck in my brain, but the lower the number, the more you get down, the more funky your background's gonna be, the more it's gonna be blown out, and the more the subject is gonna pop out of there. And so that's basically aperture. Again, bigger the opening, the more blur you get, the more light that comes in. The smaller the opening, the more things stay in focus, but the less light you're going to capture in your shots. That's Aperture. Subscribe to my channel, like the video. We're going to talk about a lot more things coming up here.